Hey Eagles! Today we are going to be talking about mixed media artwork. So mixed media is where you put more than one medium, so it's plural, on your artwork. So for example, if I were to put pencil and crayon, right? Those are two different mediums and we're going to put them on the same artwork. So it's a mixed media. A medium is what you use to create the artwork with, not a tool. So some people were getting kind of confused with that. So like scissors and glue are a tool, um, but we're going to be talking about mediums. So on your artwork today, you are going to be creating a mixed medium, mixed media artwork. Um, some students are making landscapes. I will leave your subject matter, what your artwork is about, up to you. If you can't decide, then just do a landscape. So an example a student made last week was this one, okay? Which, holding it up, this kind of looks like a cotton ball. But if you can see, you can see how I turn it sideways, it's up on the uh, front if you want to take a closer look. So this student used, what material was this? cardboard, right? They put it on fancy paper. They have their name on the back. Um, this is twistable. This is pencil. And this is more cardboard. But instead of using cardboard right here, you could also use magazine. Um, you can use, so they use three, right? Today you're going to be using three mediums. Sorry, let's get back to that. Um, because they use pencil, they use twistable, and they use cardboard. So that's three, right? You gotta use three. So let's think about all the other mediums that you could use. Anything on your table. So pencil, marker, twistable, color pencil. You can use daughters. You can use paint, the temper cakes, uh, paint sticks, magazines, cardboard. Like, look at all kinds of options, right? So for your project, you're gonna use three different mediums and we want to fill up the whole space because we want our artwork to look finished and not like we stopped to go take a little snack break, right? All right, I can't wait to see what you make. When you get finished, put them on the drying rack just so I have them all in the same spot. Do not forget your name so I can give you credit for it, okay? Bye-bye.